Okay, on this demonstration what I'm going to show you is how to, uh, once you've wrote the Complat Flash image uh, to a Complat Flash uh, card uh, and you've uh, inserted it into the IDE to uh, CF adapter and put it into your PC, um, what I'm going to show you now is how to uh, configure uh, Monowall from a uh, hyperterminal session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my Harpy Terminal session. Uh, I've already put the defaults in for uh, Monowall. Uh, the defaults that you'll need to do is um, uh, 9600, uh, 8, N, and then 1. So it's, uh, if I go and show you. So configure it for COM1, uh, 9600 uh, bits per second, uh, data 8, parity none, stop bits, one, flow control hardware, uh, click on OK, click on OK again, and uh, click on the connect button, or the call button, or whichever one uh, you want to call it. Um, what you do then is, I've already got a box set up with a monowall image uh, on a Compilat flash, so what I'm going to do is switch the image on, or switch the machine on, not the image, <laughs> and there we go, you can see I've just switched it on and uh, we'll just wait for this to uh, boot up what I'll do is I'll skip ahead until uh, it's booted up and we'll see all the uh, uh, wonderful uh, information uh, flowing down the screen okay so here's my uh, monowall box uh, booting up uh, I must point out I'm actually running uh, version uh, 1.3b2 uh, to, to do this so here's all the, uh, the wonderful information that Monowall provides uh, going down the screen. And as you can see it's on a uh, compact flash and there we go. Right, so Monowall's booted up. And what you'll be presented with is uh, the uh, this, little, uh, this little screen and all these options um, down here for the console. Um, so basically, uh, as they are um, interfaces, you can assign the uh, various network ports for your WAN or LAN or your DMZ or your optional cards. Uh, set up the IP address of the box, uh, reset the web uh, GUI password. Um, the standard password is mono. Um, this also gives you the option once you choose to reset, it resets the, uh, gives you the option to reset it back to HTTP. Um, if you've changed it to HTTPS, uh, restore to factory defaults, uh, reboot, and uh, ping a host. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is press one to assign uh, the network ports, and there are various ways of doing this. But what I normally do is uh, click on uh, one, and it tells me there are two network cards in. I must point out you do actually need a minimum of two network cards uh, in the computer in order to run uh, Monowall. Um, I'm not going to actually set up any VLANs now, so I'm just going to click no nope to that one. What I tend to do to set these up, even though it says what they are at the top there, I normally just press A for auto detect and then uh, plug in the uh, the cable to the WAN port that I want to you know, associate with uh, the WAN port. So what I'll do is I'll press A and I'll plug my uh, network cable in and. Uh, assign my uh, LAN port. So I've got two network cards, so my LAN port will be uh, the onboard one. So if I press 8 and I'm going to connect the cable and all the lights are flashing on my uh, hub and setup. So I'm going to press enter and it says that it's detected the link for the LAN so I know now which one's the LAN. So I'm going to press a to auto detect uh, the one uh, setup. So I'm going to just get my cable for the one and click A. I've already done that. So I'm going to press enter and it will say, you know, plug the cable in for the one interface. So I'm going to plug my cable in for the one interface. There we go. And the light's flashing on my uh, hub and network card. So I'm going to press A and it's detected the uh, uplink on there. At this point it gives you the option to do um, 
an optional network card that you can later set up as a DMZ or wireless card or um, however you want to uh, set that up. I'm just going to press enter at that one and now we'll have to uh, reboot the firewall in order to save changes. Um, if you are booting this from a CD-ROM you will have to uh, have a floppy disk in the drive um, so that it can save the changes but if you're just booting it from a hard drive or a compact flash then it will just save them to the um, to the compact flash card or the hard drive. So I'm going to click uh, yes because I want to proceed and now it will say the firewall is rebooting um, and we'll come back when this is uh, rebooted and back at the menu prompt or the console prompt. So there we go, it's rebooting. So I'm going to skip ahead.